So what was the overall picture for the nation in January? Good morning, Joe. Well, January was a very warm month for New South Wales, especially in the east, and also in nearby parts of southern Queensland and northeast and south Australia. But in the northwest of Australia, the daytime temperatures were cooler than average. As for rainfall, well, this was well above average for Western Australia, the Northern Territory and South Australia, but rainfall was below average east of the Great Dividing Range in southeastern Australia. So that continued a pattern that we've seen in recent months and exacerbated the effect of warm weather in coastal New South Wales. So you and I have been discussing the very hot weather in New South Wales recently and here we have it. It was a combination of above average temperatures and below average rainfall. Yeah and it's funny to see uh, with the top end we've had those pictures over the last couple of days of the of the Litchfield Falls really roaring at the moment uh, but parts of the top end there uh, had actually had kind of average or below average rain. Yeah, we can even see that there are some parts that will, uh, at the top and below average, but even um, further yeah. down in the Northern Territory, we've got even lowest on record, and we can see a few little spots around the place yep. of lowest on record. Yep. Good morning. There are areas of rain, showers and storms near the monsoon trough and the North Australian coast, and a broad trough is bringing patchy rain to South Australia and southern New South Wales with hot air to its north. Meanwhile, a cold front is causing showers in Tasmania. In Queensland, we've got showers and storms in the tropics and North Interior, and there's a chance of showers on the central coast. Elsewhere, mostly fine and hot. Brisbane, mostly sunny, 34 degrees. In New South Wales, we'll see showers and storms in the northern ranges and isolated showers over most coastal districts. A morning shower or two in Sydney, 26, and mostly sunny in Canberra, 31 degrees. It'll be partly cloudy in Victoria with isolated showers along the coast this morning. Melbourne, partly cloudy, 24. In Tasmania, we'll get showers in the West, South and Bass Strait Islands, mainly fine elsewhere, Hobart 20 with possible morning showers. To South Australia, there's a chance of showers north of about Woodena to Renmark and storms are possible in the northwest pastoral, partly cloudy elsewhere, Adelaide's heading for a top of 26 degrees. In WA, it'll be mostly fine in the south apart from morning rain and storms in the south interior and we'll have showers and storms over the inland central west, northern central wheat belt and the northern goldfield. Perth humid and sunny, 32 degrees. We've also got showers and storms in the remaining central and northern parts of WA. In the north, we could get strong, gusty and heavy, uh, strong gusty winds and heavy rainfall. As for the Northern Territory, there's a chance of showers and storms throughout, with the heaviest falls expected over the top end. Darwin's heading for a top of 32 with showers and a possible storm. Tomorrow, there's a chance of showers in Sydney, 29 degrees. Canberra, partly cloudy, 33 degrees. And Melbourne, mostly sunny, 27 Seven degrees. Good morning. Let's take a look at the weather around the nation's capitals. It'll be mostly sunny in Brisbane, 34 degrees. We'll get a morning or shower or two in Sydney and a top of 26. Mostly sunny in Canberra, 31. Melbourne will be partly cloudy, 24 degrees. Hobart, 20 with possible morning showers. Adelaide, partly cloudy, 26. Perth, humid and sunny, 32. While Darwin will get showers and a possible storm with a top of 32 degrees also.